What's your worldview? Did you even know you have one? You do. Does how you view the world even matter? Absolutely it does. Worldviews are very important. David Nobel, author of Understanding the Times, says a worldview is the framework from which we view reality and make sense of life and the world. It's an ideology, philosophy, theology, movement, or religion that provides an overarching approach to understanding God, the world, and man's relations to God and the world. Think about it like this. Do you use photo filters? When you take a picture with your phone, you don't have to accept it as is. You can add a filter. You simply click the photo, click edit, and then you have no less than 10 filters to choose from. Vivid brightens things up, but then there's vivid cool, vivid warm, or you can go dramatic or dramatic cool or dramatic warm. You may be feeling really artsy and decide to go black and white, or you can get really fancy with photo editing apps that polish your image to perfection. We edit the image so we can see it exactly the way we want to see it, or maybe how we feel like seeing it in that moment. We change the truth, you might say, tweak it a bit, sometimes even beyond recognition. Some filter apps can give you all sorts of laughs, like big belly laughs, turning your face and even your voice into just about anything you can imagine. If you didn't know me and I sent you a photo of me with one of those filters, you wouldn't really know what I look like for real unless you knew the real me. The truth is filtered away but we like to see things the way we want to see them. We want others to see us the way we want them to see us. How we view the world is no different. We choose what filter or lens we view it from. That's a worldview. Worldviews shape our convictions and what we believe or don't believe. We respond to these beliefs and convictions with every decision, action, or emotion even, and it impacts every single area and choice of our life. These views, what we believe impact our reactions, responses, our relationships, and ultimately reveal where we go for truth. Remember how filters cover over the truth? We want our truth, our way, even if our way leads us down a road that is far from God. Still, absolute truth will always lead you home because if you're lost in the woods, I don't care how many filters you look through to make it look better or pretend you're somewhere else, you're still lost and in the end, you will have to get out your compass and find absolute true north to find your way home. God is my true north and his word is my compass. It's absolute. I don't waver based on what I feel or what lens culture or the world may try to have me look through. I know my purpose, my direction, and the truths I cling to are mapped out for me, and I stand alone on it. If you want to know what I think about anything in this life, the first thing I want to know is what God says about it in His Word. That's my standard, not what my filtered opinion is or what lens I feel like looking through. That's a biblical worldview. And if you care more about opinions than you do the truths found in the Word of God, you do not have a biblical worldview. According to Barna Research, roughly 70% of Americans claim Christianity. Yet, when it comes down to having a biblical worldview, less than 10% of adults truly fall into that category. It's staggering. Jesus prayed these words to the Father hours before his crucifixion. John 17, 17. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. The Word of God is truth. I believe it. I stand on it alone. I will not waver. As I allow it to shape and guide my life, renew my mind, and change my heart on a daily basis, I am sanctified or set apart, set free, and full of joy and purpose because I know and live the truth. And that is the only truth that sets me free. That's the absolute truth. What filter are you looking through when it comes to what's right and wrong, your purpose, your view of God, and this life and what's beyond it? View it through the eyes of the one who created it. I'm Lori Klein.